welcome to this platform. Um, the story out there is that of precious Chikwendu. Chikwendu is the ex-wife of Femi Fanny Kayode, Mr. Short Fuse. Of course, you know he said it himself when a journalist tried to search him out, when he decided to give himself a job without being appointed to any political or any office in Nigeria. He did, he did this as a freelance thing. Of course, we know that he was actually sending a filler. He was sending signals to the people in government right now, the APC government that he has finally joined, claiming that Buhari is a man of integrity. Precious Chikwendu has challenged Femi Fani Kayode, and this is a reaction to the statement issued by Femi Fani Kayode's lawyer, Ayodeji Ipikunle. In a statement, the mother of four sons were suffering from bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. That is what Femi Fani Kayode said in a statement. Sir Chikwendu, ex wife Chikwendu, suffers from bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. Now, we all know that Femi Fanikayode had some drug-related issues and he was taken to T.B. Joshua's church to be prayed upon, to be delivered. The tape is somewhere in the archives of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. That one is a known fact. And, you know, in they can even step forward from what we heard to help salvage the marriage of Femi Fanikayode to Precious Chikwendo. Chikwendo stated some of her own truth. She said, Femi Fani Kayode does not like Igbos. He said that Igbos do not have hierarchy structure in their own place, thereby bringing these characteristics that are not acceptable to him. And what is this? Respect is not tenable. Is not available, is not given. You don't find evils respecting themselves. It is about what you physically have. Money, nothing more. If you have money, you'll be respected. Maybe if you have some plenty juju, they will fear you. But they do not have this hierarchy, this structure. And this, according to Femi Fanikayo, they, well, according to the wife, um, saying this about Femi Fanikayo, they said um, he said he doesn't like evils and he will never employ evils in their home because he doesn't want a situation whereby you speak to someone to do this or do that the person will not and chikwendu back then also showed us videos of femi fani kyle is trying to assault physically assault we're talking of a man that is a lawyer anyway trying to physically assault although he didn't do it but he said he used to do this type of thing trying to physically assault one of the workers people i think the gardener back then and then um, she recorded this to show that this man is abusive. This man, you know, goes against the law. If there's any law at all, we know that Nigeria is what it is anyway. We are talking of a man who grew up abroad. He schooled abroad. He had the opportunity to school abroad and all of that. And, uh, well, Femi Fani Kayode is saying that it is Chikwendu who has mental problems. Now... Femi Fani Kayode also said that none of his sons are suffering from COVID-19 and none of them have any head injury, contrary to what Chikwendu has said. But in a reaction to this, Chikwendu shared pictures, a, a picture, sorry, to prove that his son, Liam, had a bruised face. She also went on to talk about how the Lawyer representing Femi Fani Kayode physically assaulted her in court on Wednesday. How true that is, we do not know until she brings full evidence of this. So, in her statement, she said, When you want to make press statement next time, Mr. Short Fuse, be assured I will respond with pictures and video evidence. You are the one with bipolar. This is my son, Liam, and his left face is completely bruised. She also alleged that Femi Fanikayo, this lawyer, like I said, did all of this. Um, she said this happened, the physical abuse, or is it the physical insult? We don't know the difference now. 
Um, she said, you cannot go away with insulting me at the Federal High Court. I posed several times in March and April whilst I kept mute. You forget he is but a messenger. All these aggressions came up the moment the panel ruled that both lawyers should sit and fix dates and venues for me to see my kids this holiday. His lawyer refused to give office address to my lawyer to enable us to send a letter to this effect and that led to an argument that made this lawyer insult me who was minding my business. I was minding my business so over a conversation. I was in no way involved. When the panel inquired what was the reason for the argument, his lawyer claimed I can't be granted access as one of the sons has COVID. It's a shame that a lawyer called to the Nigerian bar would allow a rich client write his briefs. Well, you know what it is anyway. Femi Fanikade is a lawyer and he will want to do all the write-up. All he needs is for um, the lawyer that he has employed to be the face of all of this. But he is the one working the show, not the lawyer giving him suggestions or advice. Femi Fanikade schooled abroad and also did all of those and he's a lawyer. Well, Mr. Short Fuse, she went on, has never been present at any court be it on custody or customer record hearing since March, yet is releasing statements in defense of his lawyer. I am a mother who is only interested in raising my our kids and not dragging with a man who sees no value in respect in at least his overhyped past offices and records. That is what it is. I think Femi Fanikade is simply interested in the fair complexion. You know, Femi Fanikade never had it good with women. That is just it. This is not the first woman he has in his life. Femi Fanikade has older children. You know, I think he has gone through about two, three women before finally ending up with this one and definitely moving on to another person. But this seems to be one of the dirtiest of it all. I don't know. I think Femi Fanikade is someone who uh i don't know there is something about him if you look at him closely there is something about femi fanicalde that might not sit well with uh, with many women you know uh, maybe that kind of ignorant woman who is not that learned that would do all what femi fanicalde wants and femi fanicalde does not want that kind of woman uh, doesn't want that kind of woman who he will not take to parties and um, showcase her like this and that he wants the best of the best, something pretty, something looking fine, shining, and all of that. That is what Femi Fanicalde wants. And such kind of people will not be people that you can box into a corner, try to oppress them, scream at them, speak, and throw out the venom inside of you and show all of those spoiled, brat kind of characteristics or oppressive characteristics, domineering characteristics, and uh, um, very important and all of that. It's so sad that this Femi Fanica out there has not dealt with this. I'm not saying that uh, um, the women too in the life of Femi Fanica out they, they, I'm not saying they don't, they might have issues too. Do not uh, think that whenever marriages break down, it is the man, it is the man. Most of the marriages that have broken down, you always hear stories and complain that it's the man, the man. Women will never take responsibility for their action or in action, how they try to destroy their marriages from day one, from when they got in, from when the man started having you know, this contact with them, they start acting nice, and all of a sudden, when they see the man is into them, they begin to, all the action that you see them, we don't know sometimes, is it as a result of uh, insecurity, or just bad character? Bad character, they come into the marriage, or into the strong relationship and they begin to all their talks attitude everything is how to bring down that relationship and to them they believe that they are trying to build relationship with such character and the man keeps on keeping on keeping quiet like okay maybe it will get better maybe there's something the man is enjoying maybe the way you cook or some other things that you do then it gets to a point and the guy is like in fact i'm done with this and he begins to react to you react to everything and don't forget that we all come from different families and we all have issues that we are dealing with differently but um, there's also something also when a woman or a man it could be a man too when you get into a marriage or into a strong relationship and you think that the person is your junior brother or your junior sister that's idea um, and don't not forget that two captains cannot be on a ship it's just not possible two captains cannot be on a ship you can't be as a woman commanding and 
commanding your man or whatever, whenever the man wants to talk to the kid, you begin to say you are protective and you begin to uh, kind of, uh, as we do say, fold the hand of the man in front of the kid. And many things get, you know, get into this relationship, marriage issue that could bring an end to it. And some people, um, the truth, and I'm going to leave with this, they are not meant to be together. They don't match. They don't fit. Nothing. It's like putting square pegs into round holes. That's what it is. They don't fit. They are not destined to be, to be together. They don't have, they just don't complement each other. And that's the truth. And there is no way they will stay together. You might say, oh, what of our great, our great grandmothers, our grandfathers, and all of those blah, blah, blah people say, how they stood together. It is called suffering and smiling.